I was wondering whether you'd gathered again now, all ready for the frail, if you were for that. Sir, perhaps I'll be able to understand you if you talk slowly. Now, I'm sure it's my fault, but do me a favour, slowly. I have, for many crothers, owned an investment moat craven for them, and with all this thread, so I can follow through them to gain for you. I, I, I give in, I just don't understand. I do. You do? I understand. He gobbledygooks. I don't care what he eats. <laughs> you don't understand. I know I don't understand. Translate it. How do you do? <laughs> how do you do? Matt to interpret? Well, how extraordinary it is necessary for dueling in these. But you can strail through this message, tell these Pete Lowers and Mr. Hayden that uh, there was Golden. Mr. Handy, you'll have to prepare yourself for a shock. This gentleman is your landlord and he's just given you notice to quit. Quit? Just because I don't talk his language? Racial prejudice, that's what it is. Really? No prejudice in some of the colour partners from now. Oh, no. Each man's investing mode, and that was the future's late for his own gale. And so that's what I drove for it, and therefore, us all have asked. He says not at all. He's just received a much better offer for these premises. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Oh, dear, just as we were settling in so comfortably. Well, I don't realise the problem's known for this thing like this. I don't get the message home for weeks and on him the day and trying to concept these Pete Lowe. He says he feels very cut up about it, and he's been trying to tell you personally about it for weeks to soften the blow. Well, I'm sure we would all chip in towards the cost of the rent increase. Oh, yeah, sure. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, we're not having that. We'll have to find new premises. Where? Took you three months to find this place, and it's no palace. That's the end of helping hands. Oh, back to the labour exchange. Oh, no. Surely there must be some way out. Yeah, that door, we're sunk. Well, you're a defeatist lot. Surely there's something we can do about it. No, we'll just have to be sensible about it. It's a matter of business. In his shoes, I'd do exactly the same thing. If I was in his shoes, I'd run for my life. But it's not going to solve our problem, is it? All conscious and deep in the sheddy tear for those problems, the human beer and the sub found a wet seal in the water dangling in the early morning. But I've got to suffer, for, and I would say that you could all stay or remain if you couldn't suffer just a small gracious generops. Our landlord says he has been very moved by our loyalty to this enterprise and by the nature of the enterprise itself. We can stay. Oh, oh good. Yeah. Oh, well, that's nice. Thank you. If, if we will do something for him. What? Oh, well, I'll, I'll do, do anything. anything. Yeah. 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 Yeah, come on. I have in this very environs and beautiful green lawns as English never known, a great building in the Baraki, and the very fine parapetters, either side, gargoyle in the front entrails, a filigroom, windy stair crates up to the ceiling, fine glinty scintillade, the dangly chandelier, this fine central grave with Van Gogh cylinders on either side of the wall. And if anyone will come, it gathers again, working in the hell bone, and work himself to a stick of the shadow of the former soul, so this 99 which years Lisey was handy home, free garber. His main business is property development. You know, the buying and the refurbishing of old houses. He's just bought the oldest and dirtiest house he's ever had, and the cleaning bill for it is prohibitive. If we will all clean it for him, he's willing to give us a 99 years lease. Oh, well, why not make it the round hundred? You shut your cakey. You shut your cake hole. <laughs>